Hey guys, how you doing? This is Colton with Collapse Gaming, and I'm coming at you with another Madden game. And uh, it's been a few weeks. Unfortunately, I was absent. I wasn't anywhere near my setup or anything in order to put videos out to you guys. And I'm never ahead of schedule. But it is what it is. I had a family emergency, basically. Well, the reason I left was because my grandmother wasn't doing very well. So I left to go down there and be with her. And during that time, she uh, passed away. So I was gone for about two, two and a half weeks, somewhere around there. So that's part of the reason for my uh, absence. Through the first month and change. But and hang a lot of this early success on their I figure I'll uh, start by giving you guys one of these, these videos. And the but just so you guys know, I think for, for this We're month anyways, now, so I'm not going to put really anything out. I think I'm going to give you guys all the Dying Light vids, which I already have them uploaded in a playlist. So what I might do is just post the playlist. Uh, post the playlist on Twitter that's pretty much my so only outlet right now is Twitter Twitter and well obviously YouTube Cougar, but I'll just make the whole series available to all of you but what I'm gonna do this week, month up until in next game. month yeah. Two touchdowns and is try to get ahead so I can constantly stay ahead I'm gonna get a well I'll have Shadow of War for you guys at the beginning of next month like I already have the entire series done and whatnot. And then I uh, also have Destiny 2 done. But I figure as long as I can get those games done, then I can stay ahead of schedule all the time, you know, just in case, you know, the unfortunate comes up. But we'll see, you know. I haven't even touched Shadow War, and at this rate, it's been out for three or four days. And I'm really itching to play it, just I'm waiting for the weekend. But uh, I'll keep giving you guys the Madden vids. That'll be every week. And then, of course, next month we also have World War II Call of Duty, which I'll, I'll, I'll brush up on that. I haven't touched Call of Duty in a little while. And, uh, you know, I'll give you guys Call of Duty vids. Oh! Oh, come on. But yeah, so basically what's in the lineup is I'll get Destiny 2 all the way done as well. And uh, Shadow of War will be done before the start of next month. And uh, I'm trying to think if there's anything else I'm forgetting. Dying Light, like I said, I'm going to give you guys that, all of that, here in like probably the day after. So it'll be Monday, on a Monday. So tomorrow. But uh, it sucks because I missed quite a few uh, games as far as on here, which is fine. I mean, obviously, lots of the family members more important than, uh, than you know, YouTube. <laughs> And Charles, despite but, this list of key and actives that we see here, they've obviously still been pretty successful. But uh, I think what I ended on week two, and now we're in week six. So, oh come on! So week three, I know the Vikings went up against Pittsburgh. That was, or no, week three wouldn't have been Pittsburgh. I think I got it on my phone here. I don't remember. Uh, I think week two was Pittsburgh, wasn't it? That was the last video I did. Oh, uh, it would have been Tampa Bay, which we stopped them. Looks like the defense. It just sucks because we don't have Bradford back. Not saying he's like the greatest quarterback ever, but at least he's consistent, you know. 
And then on top of it, which didn't happen in week three, but week three, Tampa Bay, Minnesota, that was, you know, we, we took it to Tampa Bay. And then week four, Detroit, Minnesota, that was, God, neither of those offenses wanted to get going. But if anybody had the better offense, I'd say it was Detroit because the running back was going all over us. But, ah. But, you know, it was what it was. It was a low-scoring affair, 14-7, to and on top of it, defense has dominated that game. It just sucks because those games are usually the ones where you see just our defense on the field, and our offense only comes on every once in a while. Oh, come on. But, uh, week five. Is uh, Minnesota and Chicago, and it should uh, honestly, without Dalvin Cook, it's kind of rough. But in Week Five, you know, Jarek McKinnon, he actually showed that he can he can handle himself, which is nice to see. And on top of it, Bradford went out for out to play, but he got pulled because he didn't look good at all. And Keenum held it; he held it down, which is good. But on top of it, uh, for this game, finally, <laughs> for Green Bay, we got Diggs out, which is a huge problem, which means Diggs, Cook, and I know there's other players, but I'm terrible at figuring out, uh, figuring out who's injured and whatnot. I mean, I know I could look it up. And the numbers for Latavius Murray last time out. 21 carries. I'm not sure if Reef, Riley Reef, the left tackle, is going to be in the game. Ah, oh, crap. Because I'm pretty sure he had something happen to him. I might be getting him confused with someone else. A well executed blitz, no doubt. Great job by the linebacker. Maybe the quarterback, if he could have seen that, could have audible there. Yeah, he needed to be in a different place. It'd be nice, though, to see our offense on the field a lot more than uh, our defense because it's getting kind of old, though, watching our defense just get wore out and constantly crushed. Like, Minnesota's D needs to pick it up. For a second there, I thought that might break big. Screen pass. Looked like it was coming together. Let me try this. Still ended up with a solid game. Nice. Now, but McKinnon against Chicago, that was crazy. Like, he broke out some big ones, and on top of it, he just looked comfortable behind the line. Like, he wasn't trying to do anything too crazy. He just when he saw the hole, he hit it. It seemed like Murray was kind of hesitant at times when he was out there, which might have been why we didn't see him quite as much, or if he was out there, he didn't make his presence known very, very well. Which, whatever, I mean, you're going to have that as an NFL player, especially if you haven't been on the field as consistently, you know. But it is what it is. Hopefully, it's going to be rough going up against Green Bay. I mean, it's Aaron Rodgers. That dude is... Come up he holds it down for him like none other. Him and uh, Jordy. Oh, crap. Let's see if I can uh, so stop this. Nah. Oh, my. Did you guys pay attention to uh, Trubisky at all in his debut? Like, they may not have won, but Trubisky looks like he's going to actually be a decent quarterback if if Chicago can surround him with some, you know, decent wide receivers and tight ends, which he does have some decent ones, but the thing is, is once they catch the ball, they typically don't, they don't make plays. It's nothing crazy. And led the NFL 14 receiving touchdowns. Well deserving to be the comeback. Ah, the but I know these types damn! Of if he would have made it through there, that would have been it. From anything, they just want to be consistent. And Jordy Nelson is definitely that. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. Well, he's looking for some running room, and there wasn't a whole lot of it there on that play. I think he was lucky to get a couple of yards out of it. So the oh, to the there we go. Hey, I put Ben Gideon in at the other linebacker spot, and obviously we got uh, Kendricks and Barr. 
Which bar he's been making himself known, which has been nice. I would agree with that totally. At some point, they have to win at the point of attack. Instead, is the defense getting it done again and holding the no game? It's caught, Nelson. And he has the first down yardage before they break. I mean, this is the thing, though. You're just gonna have to try and stop, Eric, because. The thing is, is Aaron Rodgers is probably going to get yardage on most plays. That's the unfortunate truth. He's got the, this knack to get the ball down the field. And, and, I mean, that's what you want out of every quarterback. But him, him and a handful of others are able to do it, it seems, almost not effortlessly, but they can do it a lot easier than other teams. Question answer it at the same time. That's exactly where he came from, but it's not something that you normally see. Most of the time, All right. about those guys let's go ahead. We're going to bring the blitz case, and go with some zone. I'm going to scoot no these game. guys over there. Throwing his Rogers on third Come down. on. Really? Oh, and he got it anyways. Oh! Nice. And this belongs to the nice. Vikings. That don't matter to me. Decline it. So they lost yardage and they declined the penalty. There's no logical reasoning to do that. Okay. I'm to go through this little Rolodex in, in this small brain of mine, and I'm coming up with nothing, partner. I've got zip on that one. Take the yardage, right? Take the penalty. It's kind of tough I using a uh, Murray. Gain there to make it He's not quick, nine. but I mean, maybe I need to do some more juking and stiff arming right at at the line. I don't know. Come on. All right, we're at the two minute. So we're probably gonna have to rush Keenum up the field. Let's see. Oh, they're playing up. Hopefully. Dealing can get behind him. Keenum gonna try and throw on third down. Escaping the pressure. What the heck? And he gets it to the <laughs> I was trying to do a QB dive, but a good decision in the end to pull it and run, get some nine yards at a first. See if we can get it to Rudolph. Now a play fake here on first down. Oh! Come on. And he takes this one down all the way near the third. Wouldn't it be awesome if that's how Keenum threw against the Packers? Those are the games, though, that he does need to do good in because even though he's not a top, top tier quarterback, like, you still got to do your part. That's often the difference in winning and losing. Those types of plays that can. no escaping this time as he'll He got sacked. They got him for a sack. Nick Perry coming in from that outside linebacker spot to bury him for a loss. Morgan. And they weren't in zone coverage. We'll see. Each man did his job. And that looked like vintage old school coverage, didn't it? Man coverage reminded me of an old Raiders team. They had a Hall of Famer in one corner and a defensive player. I've never done that before where he just pitches it off. I just knew if I crossed the line, like, that was it. Keenum could get hit. But when you hit him on the move like that, and he's able to get into open field with a full head of steam, oh, boy, it's going to be tough to get him down. Yeah, there was a big window. They're lucky they did. Oh, win. come on. Uh, I guess we're kicking a field goal. I was hoping to get Jarius open. Which means if Diggs is out, Jarius should see more time along with Treadwell. Treadwell would be one I'd like to see have a huge game, but I mean, I get it. Zimmer picks the guys that he thinks are working the hardest, and possibly Treadwell isn't showing everything he should, you know, but, you know, maybe he'll get his shot and he'll change everybody's mind. That's all there is to it. All right, 18 seconds. To the 27. Reminder that coming up later tonight in the national window, we'll see the Giants travel out to Looks Denver like to they're set the up for a run. And then tomorrow night, it's the Colts and Titans, an AFC South battle ah. in Nashville. 
I might have screwed up. Oh boy. Pretty nice gain there on the run. Gets it to the 35 after showcasing the agile move. Now the Packers going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 12 seconds to go in this first half. Now Rodgers throwing. Oh, nice. Get in. Nice. You'd assume they'd run it. Just well, I guess the clock's going down regardless. So we've reached halftime here, in, and no update from Larry this week. Apparently. Of course, we'll, we'll skip that. Week seven, but for now, let's get back to the action, ready to kick off the second half. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. This See if we can crush him. Ah. He spun on me. That's nice, though. The Packer offense now ready to get back onto the field. They come out here with a zero on the scoreboard. What was said in that locker room? That's what I want to know. I would love to have been in there because we often have the feeling that there's a lot of shouting, screaming, people upset. But typically, halftime lock rooms are a lot more clinical than that. All right, cover In two, case, invert. Are they upset that the plays weren't working because of execution? You know, one spot I need to pay attention to in this game is uh, the second D tackle spot. Like, we know Linville's a beast at D tackle, but you know, I haven't been paying attention to Jaleel Johnson or Tom Johnson at all. It'd be interesting to see how them two have been doing. I mean, I'm obviously, if I had to pick a guy, I would like Jaleel to get it, but I don't know how he's been playing because I haven't been paying attention. But. It'd be cool to see him take the spot because we've all seen Tom Johnson. He's been there for a while, and he's a good, good player. That was a nicely run slant route, and what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield. Squeeze him in, and then breaks it off. Usually after about three to four steps, and cuts towards the middle. Nice. And now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and get the quarterback a really nice target. They'll wind up losing three yards here. Overstorm Brave. Second and thirteen. Really we'll send Gideon and Kendricks. Swing pass Let's out to the move right this over. Terrific read, better execution, and done with a lot Oh, of come on. Nice. Jaleel. Hell yeah. All right, we'll do cover two man. Make sure that they don't get. Eh, never mind. They might. I'm going to back them up. Nice. I figured just try to keep it all in front of us because it's third down anyways and they had a long way to go. Oh my gosh, did you guys see the fake punt that Chicago did against Minnesota? That was ridiculous. Punter just tossed it over the top. Cheryl's couldn't get the job done by tackling him. It's crazy. Call that 49 yards on the punt. They do get seven back on the return. And the Vikings will be up deep to begin their drive as they take over first and ten. Maybe Murray if he can get around him. I have a feeling he's going to backpedal. On first down, Keenum. Yep. And they're able to bring him down at the 20. Take the safe oh, route. There. Eight yards on the first down it's weird when you watch other people play Madden. In the passing game, just his second catch. How they'll yeah, always try to take like the deep ball. It's like, dude, just take the easy route if you have to. Oh, come on. It's all good. And put him on a man to man to try and limit his touches. Just keep mixing it up, giving different angles, different looks, like a good boxer does. The Vikings on third down. They've been near perfect. Four for five to this point. They need just a yard here. I'm going to send Floyd and Thielen on streaks. And Murray will be my check down. Working from the gun, Keenum. Oh, come on. Nice. It always makes me nervous when I throw long with Keenum because he like his throw is weird. It'll like float in the air. I don't know. It's just weird. Oh come on, Thielen. 
Oh, oh, I thought he got it. Got him into right protection. So good. So he doesn't get hit back there. He's got a chance to step up with supreme confidence and deliver it downfield for a nice completion. Brandon looked like he had his Hopefully Rudolph will get open. If not, hopefully Thielen's route will develop. Yep. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. Wow. And he's just across midfield and down at the 49 yard line. And that's one of the bad things about getting sacked is when that happens because your line isn't paying attention. It's behind them. And in this situation, you know what the quarterback has to do? Act as his own blitz control. Yeah, he's got nobody else there to protect. No one else wow. Protect, which means he's got to get. And nothing but green grass here, middle of the field. Touchdown. All right. There we go. They're back in this game. I mean, they were never really out. Touchdown on the year. And the forced fumble defensively leads to six points for the Packers. Ah. And on that one, able to catch it, also able to have the wherewithal to take One it play, 49 yards. The phases of a successful catch it is what it is. Look the ball in, secure the catch, and then, of course, the run after the catch that ends up in the end zone. This will be taken in at the one. Woo! McKinnon got rocked. A couple extra yards up to the 27 yard line. All right, let's see if I can not fumble it. Yeah, last drive, obviously not what you're looking for. You've got the lead. you got to protect the football. So in other words, someone got lucky because they've been moving the ball really well and wearing them down. In this All right. Case, though, giving up the Guess Keenum's uh. Doesn't make them very happy. They can't wait to get back out there and atone for Keenum's it. just gonna toss it out. On this drive. All right. Let's see if I can actually get Murray going. They'll run it now out of the gun. Ah. And he'll push his way well, I, I went ahead and hit the he'll stiff arm button, the but unfortunately, it did not now. help me. It is what it is. Treadwell? But that also doesn't mean you just do it the same ah, way. Ah, come on. The entire ball game. Maybe change up some blocking assignments or run a few different plays. And we return welcoming you back to Minneapolis. It's been a very hotly contested game to this point. Just a field goal separating these two teams as we get set for the fourth quarter. Now Keenum. Packer pressure and down he Damn. goes. Damn. You know what's crazy is I, I have a profile for uh, franchise mode for you guys specifically on YouTube. And I simmed all the other games up until this point. And in this season, I'm 5-0 and right now, which we all know is bullshit because, well, the Vikings took... Getting ready to a couple go losses. They take the field. Some good games going on in the early window. This might be the best of the bunch. But things are starting to move in the right direction. They get the touchdown last drive, and the defense gets them the football back. Yeah, now they have a chance to get the lead if they can put something in the Damn, game. man. Yeah. Just too much time for Roger, especially if I'm going to do zone. They want to take the big strike and go after it right now. It'll be a gain of 10 to start the drive out, and by a few inches, that'll be a first down. Just spread them out, see what happens. number 80? I mean, he's been number 88 his entire career, right? And how about that? The fans selecting his jersey number. Yeah, that was his idea. He put that out there on social media and said, here, here are a few choices. What should I wear? All right, we'll do cover four. I need to try and get through, though, like with Griffin. to the tight end. And let's face it, it is hard to overthrow a six-foot-six-inch target. It is indeed. Quarterbacks like their speed guys. They like that huge six-six target that they've got. They really do, and it reminds me of what one great tight end told me. Oh, once. Nelson. Told Just make sure you throw it up there. You know, kind of like put up in the top shelf where the kids can't get it. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as. Oh, oh come on. Nice. And the Vikings pick up the football. Woo! I was nervous they were going to tie it or take the lead because they were just driving it down the field. Like, damn. That's why I was getting quiet. Oh, Floyd, if you can bust it behind that safety. Uh, just throw it. Oh, my God, man. There's times where you just want to say he didn't throw it quicker, but the thing was is I should have made the call a lot sooner. 
The amount of sacks that they've absorbed in this game is yeah, absolutely let's see this quick. Let's just face it. This offensive line flat out cannot handle this pass rush. It's been demonstrated time and time again. And there I think that's my problem. I just need to get rid of the ball a lot quicker. Back, but it leads now to a third down. And there they went crossing route against the zone defense. I'm going to send Rudolph takes real right there. Between the passer and the receiver because you got to read those zones and where the open spots are and be on the same page. With the All right, let's the punt it away. Because sometimes you're throwing it in front of the zone. Sometimes you're throwing it between the zone. Sometimes the receiver is going to just kind of find a spot and what we call sit down and present himself to the quarterback and throw it there. It's a tough read, but when they're in sync, it's really effective. Uh, ah. I don't know why I tried to hit stick with Wayne's. I should have known better than that. It'll be Packer football here. First down and 10. Time starting to run out here in the fourth. This defense just trying to keep the offense off the board and preserve this potential victory. Rodgers now on first down. Caught by Nelson left side. Injury. 8,000 career receiving yards. And of course, the quarterback in this situation, he's realizing time is becoming a factor. Let's see if they can get some points on the board here late. On first down, Rodgers. Oh, come on. That's his first incompletion of the game. That's nuts. Defenses. They've had good coverage throughout this one. No doubt about it. And in today's NFL, where we're used to a bit more scoring, this feels almost like a well-pitched game in baseball on both sides. No! Newman! And he is out of bounds inside the 30. A very nice pickup of 33 yards. We'll substitute. No sense in injuring anybody. Like just wanted to find a way to get it in the hands get back to B Rob. I think you're exactly right. I don't think the coordinator is looking at his play sheet and trying to figure out which play will work well. He's trying to figure out how to get the ball to the playmaker that you just. We described. might be working our way we back from. Uh, people plays, not necessarily. Or we might be trying to take the lead exactly back. If They're we can't to stop them. One on one opportunities, and this is one way work him out of the slot and create a mismatch. Who's Here we go. Him? Corner, safety, linebacker. He's got a way to beat all of those positions. So it's Packer. I don't want to stop blitzing because I feel like there's no pressure on Rodgers otherwise. It looks like it's going to go down to the wire. Again, they'll throw with Rodgers. Out to the flat. That's complete to his running back. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside. Really? He was out of bounds? Three on the play, and that's going to lead to a third down. Everybody's this will be a little weird. The football. Doesn't matter what position you play, but if you're on offense, be aware of ball make on your left. Nice. There we go. And it's bar. What a huge nice. play at this point in the game. Oh, it'd be sweet if we could stop this, but... The clock continues to roll. And no matter what the situation, the O-line just hates that because they feel like yeah, they need to protect Yeah, I didn't think so. Man, that's just so, difficult for them so now we need to get into field goal range for sure. Play. When you decide to throw the football, you're dealing with some of the best athletes on the planet. You talk about guys, if they weren't playing football, they'd be starring in the NBA at power forward. It's a really difficult task. Elsewhere in the NFL, the down Ooh, I thought he fumbled the way the play was still rolling. And the Saints have surged back to take the lead there. Drew Brees tearing that secondary apart. He's got a 300-yard afternoon and four touchdown passes. Keenum now to throw. What? Come on, Keenum. Latavius Murray, the intended receiver out of the backfield. And that'll bring up second down. Maybe I need to sit in the pocket. Just not the game that you would expect from him. He's been off the mark, really, start to finish. Yeah, it makes you wonder what exactly is going on. Is he a little bit dinged up here? Or is he just off just by a bit? All right, let's he hurry up. Back in this situation, he'll need to. And he'll be taken we'll do corner strike. And after this, if I can't make anything, get out of bounds or nothing, we'll go ahead and... Uh, oh, come on. No! No! <laughs> oh, here we go. 
Here we go. They return it and they take the lead. This is going to get interesting now. 35 so seconds. Tight games decided by one big play. That's fine. Of times, of course, it's the offense well, here. It's, it's the OT now. Huge. That's what and we're going for. Just walk around locker rooms, walk around bench areas. Dang. I simmed it. I should have just simmed all the games, right? Would have been here. like a five second video. You guys just watch me sim. Here comes Marcus Sherrills. Oh man, come on. 31 seconds. Here we go. I gotta hope my line holds up. offense works their way back onto the field. One possession game. Time very much a factor. How does the offense handle this situation? Well, in a lot of cases, they should be somewhat relaxed. And I know that's nice. counterintuitive because this is a pressure Time situation. Out. But this is Friday practice every week of the season. You go over this situation. All right, now we're doing four verticals. I was surprised that one was completed. I just kind of took a shot. Oh, why is he playing? Oh, I mean, I'll take it. Come on. Oh! <laughs> We might do this. We might at least get it to go to OTs. Holy cow. All right, Morgan. Uh, yeah. No. Oh, my God. Woo. Defensive backs out there in the dime, and because of that, really not many places to throw the football. If any, and typically, what would you want to do against that dime? Run the football. You want to run the ball, but you can't do it in this situation. I'm throwing it away. I got four seconds. This is probably going to be the last play, so. Yeah. Please give me double slant. Maybe a wise call not to And in the shotgun. What? Oh, I get one more shot. What is Keenum doing, dude? You know what? Let's try it. It is what it is, guys. Apparently, we're not going to win this week. But, like I said, guys, you know, we're going to go ahead. We're going to, I'm going to put out the Dying Light vids. They'll be available tomorrow. Like, the whole entire series will be. Because I can keep doing day by day with that, but I, I can kind of tell not everybody's really enjoying it. And, you know, if if you guys really want to see the follow-up to uh, Dying Light, which is Dying Light, the following the DLC, just let me know in the comment area of the, the final video of that series. But, uh, unfortunately, we couldn't win today. You know, kind of sucks. It was a good ending, though, right? I made it down to the end, but... I don't know what it is. Keenum cannot stay on target when he's down there like that. But uh, like I said, guys, you guys aren't going to get too many videos out of me this month. You'll get this one for sure. But the following month, after I've recorded uh, the rest of Destiny 2, the rest of uh, or all of Shadow of War, because I'm going to give you guys that game. Uh, we're going to also do World War II Call of Duty, but that's not going to be all pre-recorded obviously when next month starts that's going to be part of next month's or probably the years you know videos but uh yeah guys you know what to do like subscribe share this with all your friends leave a comment down below because i like hearing from you guys and all that stuff really helps out the channel and i apologize i wasn't able to pull it off today but hey i i thought it was pretty good all things considered you know but uh, I hope you guys have a great rest of the day and enjoy the games, you know. Enjoy the games. They're all good. And uh, I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye. I smoke too much. I drink too much. I tell myself.